one of the pastors asked me what is the problem with receiving an anointing and not knowing about it and i told him it is like the man who received a very powerful sharp axe and it's there on his back the axe is where on his back and now he goes into the forest and his forest is full of shrubs and full of lot of things that he has to work hard to clear the path now he begins to use his hands and legs to break those shrubs and uproot them and and he is very painstakingly making a path through a very crowded forest by the time he reaches the other end of the path his hands are bleeding he's got scratches everywhere he's exhausted and even what he's done is not the best job but if he knew about the axe that he had he would have cleaned up the route much faster much better in a better way and he would have reached his assignment much better but because he did not know what he had he worked harder so somebody can be part of a very anointed ministry and still you study them you can see they are still working hard because they didn't know how to tap into that axe that was available to them so now they work double they work harder because they can't tap into the grace that is available they don't know what backs them so even their prayer is limited when they pray to god the way they pray it's shaky they are not confident because they don't know they received an axe so they still praying like how they prayed before they had an axe so they receive the strength and the grace of the past and they are not able to tap into the grace that is presently upon them so don't let that be you you have heavenly backing those that hearken to the voice of his word huh those that very important every time you hear his voice something is happening to your spirit what came to you today was his voice can you tell that your spirit is glowing can you tell that your spirit is glowing can you tell your spirit is growing can you tell you have been upgraded please stand up i'm very excited for you i mean it i can tell you it took me many years to come to an understanding of the word that accelerates the spirit until then i thought it was about laying hands can i get someone to pray for me 
it took me years to understand it was not by having a coffee with my father it took me what years that it is the words the spoken word so let me help some people to fly in jesus whatever has been bothering you what did i say you have grace to overcome it by the god that is in you by the god that is in you the god that is in you has the capacity to solve everything you're facing one more time not the god that is outside not the god that is in heaven but the god that is inside of you has the capacity to solve so if i say if i say you have the muscles to lift something what does that mean that means you can lift something because the muscle is inside of you do i have to tell you your triceps and the biceps has the strength to receive it no i just have to say what you have the strength to receive it but what i'm saying is that it is your bicep that is doing the job but what i'm saying is it is you who is doing the job so when i say the god in you now religion is going to tell you okay god can you do it what what did i say religion is going to say okay god where, where is he okay god please i'm waiting for you to do it when i say your bicep can lift it it is not your bicep i'm talking about you and when i say the god in you can do it i'm not talking about god coming to do it i'm talking about you so when i say the god in you can solve this issue i'm not saying god is coming to solve it I'm saying you are going to solve it. The thing is can you lean on to the god part of you? Can you lean to what? The god part of you. Can you lean to the That is why when Mary came to Jesus and said convert the water into wine they don't have what wine and he says he comes to jesus and what did jesus say woman my time has not come so jesus is saying what my time has not come and then he goes on to go ahead and do it but but you said it is not your time you said it's not your time yeah but the part who said it is not my time is the jesus in the body or the part that is now going to still do it is the god in jesus did you understand so the god part of you is able to say okay i'm making it the time now so there is a part of you there is a part of you that is not able to do it and there is a part of you that says i change my mind i'll do it now so can you locate that god part inside of you i want you to help your neighbor because they're very quiet can you turn to them and say that god part in you is waiting for you I 
I want you to wake up to that God part in you. Listen. Listen. The God part of you is outrageous. The God part of you is uncontrolled. The God part of you is unlimited. The God part of you is unstoppable. The God part of you will stand and say nothing is impossible to me. The God part of you is the resurrected Jesus. Because resurrection is not a power. Resurrection is a person. And it's you. That's in you. I said that's in you. The part that rolled the stone away is in you. I wish your amens were louder. I said the part that death could not hold back is inside of you. That part of you that went down to hell and hell could not hold back. Activate that part of you in the name of Jesus. No sickness will be able to hold you back this week. No disease will be able to hold you back. from your father's house will be able to hold you back. I activate the God part of you. The part of you that is feeling like a defeat is not the God part of you. So let the God part of you encourage the defeated part of you today. Did you hear what I said? Let the God part of you encourage the defeated part of you. You're about to roar like a lion this week. Yeah, 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 yeah. You won't need the pastor to come and pray. You are going to lay hands. And you are going to lean on the God part of you. And you're going to command sickness to leave from your children. You're going to command demons to leave from your family. Every powers of darkness fighting your house, command it out, 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 out. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Fight! It's leaving your body right now. It's leaving you right now. Whatever you don't like, whatever you are tired of, whatever you're frustrated, command it out in the name of Jesus. Speak to your mountain. I said speak to your mountain. Child of God, speak to your mountain. Be uprooted. And be removed to the sea in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Look at me. Look at me, everyone. Look at me. What part of you is looking at me? I want the God part of you to look at me. Rise up. Every other part of you. Let it go to sleep. I activate the God in you. Let the lion of Judah roar. Look at me with courage. Look at me with strength. Look at me with authority. You are the part of God that is going to change everything on earth. Change your attitude. I said change your attitude. Change your mindset. You're about to conquer this week. When you go back now, stay. Stay. Don't change the gear. What did I say? Don't. Yes. Don't change your mood. 
don't change your confession to oh i don't know why this is happening to me i stay focused stay focused that 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 mini mini move put it aside uh, i'm nothing i'm nobody put it aside you are somebody because you're washed by the blood of jesus i wish somebody can shout a hallelujah hallelujah heavenly father we thank you for such a profound word that you gave through your son lord i receive that word we receive your word the spoken word that is giving strength in our wings we shall not go down we shall go up and up and up never down always up every single day in jesus mighty name jesus mighty name shout an amen amen distance is not a barrier to god revivenations.tv is now open to live participation to our services 